Those with ears should listen. These are words from our Savior, Jesus Christ. This past couple of weeks, actually two weeks to be exact, my life has changed dramatically. I've been blessed with the opportunity to, to work from home. And in doing so, I mean, I hopefully, in doing so, I have been listening to messages while I'm working. So I'm doing my job. That one of, first and foremost, I am doing my job. While I'm doing my job, I have on the background some messages that are being played on YouTube. And I only trust a certain amount of preachers or people that speak the word or motivational speakers. I usually just pick the right ones or the Holy Spirit picks the right speakers that are sharing their fruit, sharing the spirit, are aligning their lives with what I align my life with, and that is Jesus Christ. And I have about like three or four preachers that really just speak life over the people that are listening to their content. Hopefully, I'm one of those people for you. So these past two weeks, I feel more comfortable to actually do my job while listening to these messages. And truthfully, my life has changed. I went from starting the messages as maybe an hour or two because I wasn't really able to focus my job. But then as I got more comfortable and more confident in doing my job, I was listening to the sp I was listening to these messages more and more of the of my shift. I have an eight hour shift. So I went from maybe an hour or two to four hours to six hours. And now majority of my shift, I'm listening to the word, different variations, different preachers have different styles and different messages. But the beauty of having YouTube is they have an, an option called autoplay, which is they give you or recommend videos just like on Netflix is like, oh, if you're, are you still watching? And then they'll, they'll play the next episode. So just and same thing on YouTube is they'll play the next message or the next speaker. And so I would have about eight hours of someone preaching some form of a message through the word. And my life has just similarly, there's been a, a shift or I, I was explaining this to my, my fiance and I told her, I gave her this illustration. I said, I feel like I've been living a life of fog. You know how when you are taking a shower and it's a really hot shower, the glass is very foggy? Well, before these two weeks, I felt like the glass was clear. I felt like I actually had a purpose, I had a vision, I had a calling. But then as I was listening to these messages, the more and more I listened to them, the more amount of time I've been listening to them, I felt like they have been wiping the fog out and it's being more clear. I felt like they had a towel and as the fog was being erased, I was actually seeing more clearly. And then the Holy Spirit just laid it on me. And I want to preach this message on this verse. And it just so happened I finished a Bible study yesterday with my fiance and my family. And my Bible marker was on this chapter. And it's just more confirmation that this message is for you. It says, so faith comes from hearing. That is hearing the good news about Christ. And I just been realized, I, oh, I just been informed by the Holy Spirit that the reason why I'm hearing God more in my showers or in the walks that I'm doing with my dog, the reason why I'm hearing God more while I'm driving my car, the reason why I'm hearing God more, because a lot of people have this question or how can you hear God so clearly? How can, I don't hear God. I feel like he's quiet. And it goes from this verse. I'm going to read it again. This is in Romans 10, verse 17. So faith comes from hearing. That is hearing the good news about Christ. The more we are listening to the word of Jesus Christ, 
this book, the more we're hearing preachers preach it, the more you're hearing YouTubers preach it, the more you're hearing singers sing it, the more you hear the word of Christ, the more you are hearing God. I believe that the enemy's biggest tactic is to distract you, to get you confused by you hearing your favorite artist, you hearing your, your worldly podcast, or you hearing your family and your friends. When you have eight hours of someone preaching the word to you, you are understanding by just the amount of quantity, but also the amount of the spirit that's being poured into you. And so I encourage you guys, if you guys want to hear from the Lord, do it in increments, but go from an hour to two hours to three hours. And you might not have the luxury like me and work from home and, and be able to hear eight hours of someone preaching the word but from your commute, made it make a commitment that every time you're in the car, you're listening to either the Bible itself or someone ex explain the Bible or worship music. Whenever you have an hour or two, when you're sitting in the house, instead of watching your favorite TV show or your favorite movie, maybe spend an hour or two listening to someone preach the word. But the more chances that you give God to, to speak to you, the more you can hear him. And why you want to hear him? Because he has instructions for you. He has to tell you some things. Because right now he sees that your life is not aligning to his will. And that was one of the big things that he told me. Because as, as I was praying in the spirit, he told me, that he designed me in my mother's womb and he gave me a will. He gave me a destiny, a legacy. He quote unquote made my movie before I even came into this earth. And, and I have this longing, this, this discomfort that I'm not living his will when I'm in my job or when I'm not having the opportunities that I know I can I can get, I have this discomfort, this dis-ease. And it's just basically confirming from the Holy Spirit that I'm not living in the calling that He has for me, the purpose that He has for me, the will that He has for me. That discomfort that you have right now, that you just feel a bit off. You're like, I'm just waking up and I'm not feeling fulfilled. I'm waking up and I feel like I'm living someone else's life. I'm waking up and I just don't have that joy and that peace. It's because God designed you to live a certain life. And he's screaming out to you. But he's only able to scream out to you in increments because you're only getting God in increments. You're only getting God in five minutes uh, or uh, two sentence verse of the day or one hour at your church service or uh, a 10 20 minutes of your two favorite worship songs in those moments of the spirit speaking out to you it doesn't seem clear because it's only him trying to get as much information as possible through those few minutes so i want to submit this to you to spend more time with god here Hearing the good news about Christ. I started this message with the words of Jesus Christ. For those who have ears should listen. If you made it to the end of this video, I know that God is speaking to you. He is wanting to submit this to you. He doesn't want to force you, but he is screaming out to you. And he is saying, I have the answers. All the questions, how you're feeling, you're not feeling fulfilled. You're, you're confused. You're wondering why things are happening. He has every single answer for you, waiting for you. He's just asking you 
to get more of him so that way he can preach it to you, so that way he can speak to you? Are you willing to be intentional about listening to the word of God? The more opportunities that you give God to speak to you, the more opportunity he's going to speak to you. But you have to give him that window. You're going to have to give him the time. The few minutes that you're giving him is not going to cut it. Get into the spirit, get into prayer and ask God. God, you know how my days look like. You know the areas where I shouldn't be on my phone or I shouldn't be watching my favorite show or movie or I shouldn't be listening to this music. Give me the desire to long for your word. Give me the desire to seek first the kingdom. In doing so, like how I said in the, in the video, my life is changing for the better. I'm now on the right course. I'm now on the right path. I'm now right on the narrow path that he has for me. And he's already given me a few steps that I need to take. But it was just, one, it was eye-opening, but I received his grace. I received his mercy. He loves me and he loves you so much that he would leave the 99 for the one. And in this video, he's basically telling you that he is leaving the 99 for the one. He wants you and him in this moment to get together in prayer, to get together in the spirit. So that way he can tell you I have the answers. I want to give you the answers. Stop being distracted by this world. If you want peace, if you want the answers, if you want joy, if you want the trials and tribulations to stop, you need to hear my voice. And the way you do that is by hearing the word of God. You can hear the word of God in many different ways. Test, you could test the fruit, I mean, you could test it, uh, the spirit by its fruit. So if you feel like the preacher or the, the song or the podcast is not of the Lord, that's probably the spirit telling you to find one that is. And I have a couple of people that I can recommend that I know that their, their fruit is good. One is Pastor Gregory Dick out of Life Changers Church. He has a podcast called Think Like a Champion. Another is Pastor Eric Thomas. He, he has a ministry called APOC Ministry, a place of change ministry. Another is Ed Milet. He has a podcast and he is pouring out to the people that want to listen. I have people at my church that I go to. It's called Grace Family Church. They have so many sermons and so many messages that are, are led by the Spirit. I have a lot of, we have a lot of worship song, uh, groups like Maverick City Music, House Fires, Elevation Worship. You had podcasts like Tim Ross in the Basement. You have Visionary Birdo that is trying every single message, every single video to be led by the Spirit the spirit and give you guys what God wants to wants you guys to hear. Your life can change, but it starts by changing and being intense, intentional about your schedule, about what you're listening to, about what you're watching. It might quote unquote sound boring to you to just listen to God all day. And that is lies. That is the enemy trying to get you away from the word. For those who have ears should listen. That you need to be intentional about hearing the word of God. That has been the theme of this video. And I'm going to keep on saying it until 
you hear that God is screaming at you saying, listen to the word of God so he can speak to you and he wants to speak to you. I thank you guys so much for listening and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. My life is going to change and it already has changed. And I know that you guys are next. You just have to be willing and intentional about what you are listening to, what you are hearing. God is calling out to you. But the reason why you might not be hearing him is because you only give him a five minute window. You give him a 10 minute video, a window. You give him an hour window when you go to church. That's not enough. That's not enough. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And I hope that the spirit is guiding you. I hope that God is throwing his favor on you, his blessings on you. I hope that he's exceeding all of the expectations that you might have. He loves you. I love you. And we're excited to see you on the next video. Peace.